Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. In the last episode, we went through World Castle and fought Bowser, but that was not quite it. He was able to recapture all of the Sprixies again. So now we're moving on to the eighth world, which I can only assume isn't World 8, because this was World 7 and it was World Castle. So I don't know what's going on way up here, but, ooh, it's dark. What's going on? Is that a Ferris wheel? Whoa, look at this. It's Bowser's big circus, I love it. Wow, World Bowser. Okay, this has to be the last world. Look at this place. It's jamming out, I love it. Wow, really cool. Okay, so World Bowser 1, Spiky Spike Bridge. Might as well just hop right into, we're actually gonna be playing as Toad today. Yep, switch over to Toad. There we go. Oh boy, so we haven't played Toad too much. Obviously we've only played, I mean, he. as of today's episode, we've played each character for two episodes, so. Oh, there we go. I like how Toad looks in the in the, in the boomerang suit there, that's pretty cool. So we'll slam this real fast. And we're still just like looking around, making sure we get everything. I don't know, whoa, how many levels will be in today's episode, if it'll be a shorter world or not, if it's, because it, it seems to be, oh no. Oh, that was a bad idea. Gotta take it slower than that. Uh, okay, okay, there we go. Because I'm guessing, I, I was saying this last episode and I was surprised, but I'm guessing this will be the final the final world of the game. Oh no, I don't know if there's gonna be like a, a special world. There probably will be. I'm, I'm pretty sure there will be. Okay, I gotta get across here real quick. You think this would be easier with Toad? Oh, I don't know if I can get up there. Oh no. I don't know if that's gonna work out. There we go, just had to do the booty slam one. Okay, that's always, ow, such a useful jump to be able to like butt slam and then like jump off of it. Anyways, we got our first green star out of that, which is nice. Oh boy, ooh. Ah! So far I'm not playing super well, but we'll get used to it. I just gotta wait for this. Gotta be patient, like that's the big thing. Scared of that guy like that. These two are gonna chase me. That was bad timing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a little claustrophobic in that part. Okay, I'm gonna try to track the dry bones. Okay, I got both of them with that, good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, jump, jump. Oh, I got him, nice. All right, th this level's already been a really tough start to this world. Just because I it feels slippery. I'm not sure if it actually is or not. Oh my, I don't wanna go too fast as to run right into the spikes. But obviously just like the, the strict timing required with everything. Whoa! Okay, now I'm not appreciating how this guy's just going for me. But we did get the stamp out of that before, and it looks like with this mystery box, we should be able to get the uh, the next star. Okay, okay, so we basically, yeah, you do need the cat suit with this one. And it's so stressful that, oh no. Whoa, I might run out of time. Wait, 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 wait! Oh my gosh, just barely got it. Wow, that was close. Whew. All right, let's keep going. Jump over all that stuff. Oh, and I do see right over here. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to. Oh no. Oh my. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can do it. I can't do it. Hold on. Ah, oh, the things are getting in the way is the problem. Ah, oh, darn. At least I got everything. Once you get it, you don't have to get it twice, which is really useful. It's just sort of a pain that that even had to happen. I got stuck under it, I guess. Okay, but we do know that the, the cat suit is oh, right here. Not came out. And we're good to go. So I can ignore that way. I guess I was supposed to go over here. Well, this is just, oh, it's a superstar. Cool. So I can use this to get rid of all the dry bones. How convenient. Oh geez, Toad is so small, but so fast. It is like a little bit difficult to do. Luckily, the superstar saved me there. That could have been bad. Oh no. Uh, ooh. That was good, that was good. I might just want to shortcut this one. Oh, there's the end of the level. Okay, we finally made it. There we go. Wow, you can see at the top of some of these carnival buildings, that's how high up we are. Very intense start to this world, but overall pretty good, I like it. 
All right then, so we'll get our, our dry bone stamp, very cool. We have a ton of stamps, but there has to be more ones after this. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. But there we go, 207 green stars, and that's gonna lead us to two more levels. I guess it'll be the first one we tackle. Wow, that looks really cool from the picture. Oh, I see Plessy. Okay, let's definitely check out this one. This is World Bowser 2, Plessy's Dune Downhill. I love the Plessy levels, so this'll be great. Okay then, anything we gotta do around here before we start? It always starts so relaxingly. But then it gets pretty intense. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Here we go. All right, so let's grab some of that. Get some of this. Oh my. Oh, oh yes, yeah, right, I'm supposed to jump. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not a plusy driving professional. Oh, just barely was able to get that. I got the Kumba statues. Come on, come on. Nice landing. Oh my gosh, whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta get that big drift. Oh, and I think I see the stamp straight ahead. What do I do here? Uh, okay, this invisible blocks. I got scared. Oh my, now we're really moving. This really does remind me of some of the Mario 64 slides because they're so risky and dangerous. That's pretty cool because we're playing the Mario 64 music. Okay, so maybe, aha, that was actually a good thing to do. Cause he looked a little peculiar cause all the other statues were Goombas, but that was a Bowser one. All right, wow, we actually did it all on the first try. That's uncommon for me for the plusy levels. There we go. Very cool. All right, goodbye, plusy. That was fun. I wish it was a little bit longer, but hey, that's fine. I guess for this one, we don't even use plusy, we just slide. Wee. <laughs> it's always so cute. Oh gosh, I missed a bunch of coins there. It's fine, climb up the flagpole and get that one finished. So a really tough level, followed by a very quick and not too difficult level. I like it. Okay then, so yeah, good progress going on. We get a question block snip, a pretty simple one, but always good to get those out of the way. I love this music. Yeah, ba 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 da da. All right then, so we got another world right over this way, or another level right over this way. World Bowser 3 Cookie Cogworks. Oh, is this like a, a pastry themed level? Because we had a couple of those in Mario 3D Land, but you haven't really seen that too much in this game. Like a little bit here and there, but not like a ton. There we go. Uh, There's stuff down there, but maybe I should stick to up here first. Oh no, well, I don't have a choice anymore. Wait a minute, can I get rid of you? Oh yeah, that's not a problem. Oh, and we get a boomerang as well. I guess I'll hold on to that for now. <laughs> Toad just looks so cute with the little helmet and everything. It's like, it looks slightly oversized for him. Hmm. Wonder if I missed anything now. Like, I feel like I did. But no, that's, that's where I just was. Weird. I definitely wanna try to collect some more lives. I feel like I should have more at this point. Oh no, oh no. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. There it is. Almost. <laughs> there it is, okay. So definitely the boomerang is gonna be useful for this level if there'll be uh, more obstacles like that. It's really nice that the boomerang can sort of collect it for you. I don't think the fireball works that way, does it? Oh, and we can look around. So we can't get like too good of a view. Yeah, I guess we're just climbing up these cogs. This is where like maybe the cat suit would be more useful. It's also good why or good for uh, just having items in reserve like this. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Ugh. But I think it's more easy to sort of like attack on demand. Whoa, that almost got me! Oh my gosh! But the cat suit though, like I said, like it's a shorter range thing than the boomerang, but you can sort of attack immediately. So you sort of got away your options. Oh, and there's the stamp down that way. Oh wow, okay. So this will actually get rid of the ants. I don't think, whoa, whoa wait. <laughs> Not really what I was trying to do, but it works. Got him, ooh, got all four of them. Very nice throw. And there's another boomerang here if I needed it. Ah, okay, I guess I got it. Wait, don't fall. That's sort of the toughest part about Toad. It's super useful that he can move so fast, but it's so easy to mess up and like sort of slip and slide around. 
Hmm. So I guess what might be best here is trying to take care of all these guys. And there might be one more. There you go. And that'll lead us to another green star, I think. Oh gosh, run Toad, run. We got this, we got this. Ooh. There it is, there it is. I wasn't expecting it to be on the side, but we reacted soon enough. Okay, not too bad. Oh my, oh my. Ooh. Ooh, what's that in the distance? Not really sure. Okay, well hopefully we can find it though. I'm a little confused. Can we just jump over there? I guess we're about to find out. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, there's a little bunny. Let's see, will you give me uh, the green star? Thank you very much, because if you didn't, I would have no clue where it was. So we got this like secret little cookie island. I love it. Oh no, oh, don't fall off the side. I, I almost did there, that would have been a big problem. Don't have the cat suit to save me right now. Speaking of not having the cat suit, I need to make sure I get this jump just right. Ready? Whoop, there it is, okay. That first level was really a struggle, but these other two we've gotten done so far, doing a really good job. Well, I'm happy to see that. Okay, so what's our stand this time? It's Boomerang Toad, how fitting. It just, it just knows. All right, oh, we got a train level coming up. It's just like good level after good level so far. They're really treating us with this one. And we got one of the uh, the monitoring machines, whatever they're called. Uh, but we're gonna worry about this for now. World Bowser Train. Just like forget the conventional numbered levels. Doesn't even need to be a thing anymore. <laughs> the Bowser Express. Very cool. The train levels are always a treat. So like I, I'm really happy for this one. Okay. Oh, and you can see the Ferris wheel in the distance. I love the carnival theme. It's just like not really something we've seen in previous Mario games. So it's just, it's really fresh. Oh, I like that. Okay, um, oh, I gotta be quick here. I gotta be really fast. Um, I'm not being fast at all. Hold on. Uh, oh no, I fell off the side. <laughs> okay, let's, let's be a little bit more uh quick for lack of a better word. There we go, so we need to, ow, ow, not do that. It's so hard to move while the train is moving, but we got it. I'm gonna activate my other thing here and then, oh no, oh no, watch it, watch it, Goombas. I just want the fire flower, thank you very much. Jump over this one. Whoa, 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 be careful. There's gotta be something up here, right? No. Nope. Okay, well I can get rid of these guys much easier. I forget what they're called. But it doesn't matter now. Whoa, okay, yeah, let's get this. Oh no, I can't hit these guys with the fireballs when I have this on. Let's hope that they weren't gonna give me like a... Uh... Boom, whoa, nice. They weren't gonna give me like a green star for destroying them all, because that, that has been a thing in the past with bullies. Hmm. Okay, well we definitely... Ooh, want this, one, two, three, four. Long jump, just barely made it. And there's green star number two. Okay, so far, making it work, go through the door, put the stamps up there. Hold on. How do I get up there then? Oh no. Whoa, 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 hold on. I got it, Ah, oh, but I died. That was so weird, I wasn't prepared for that at all. Oh wait, I guess it doesn't count for the stamp. Weird, all right, well, collect it again. Not a big deal. We gotta figure it out. Okay, so before we go through that pipe, let's look around a little bit because I always try to go into here. This time I gave me a mushroom, which is pretty cool. Oh no, oh and there it is, okay. Luckily the third green star wasn't too bad. Oh, let's get through the pipe. I'm guessing this has to be the end of the level. Oh yeah, that's right, there'll be a boss fight. Weird. All right then. Okay. Uh, so when she splits into multiple, it's always the one with the colored shuriken. And she also is the, like the one that isn't like a little translucent at first, I notice. I think we just gotta get her one more time. Okay, she's in the back left here. There we go. Not too bad. Okay then, so we got 80 lives as well. I'm really excited to get to 99. If that's the maximum or not, I guess we'll find out. 
But I feel like I always try my best to get to 99 lives in, in these Mario games, so just been trying my best to get there. This one's been a really challenging one so far, though. Okay, ready, set, whoop, we got it. Also, we definitely aren't getting as many lives because you don't get a one-up for getting the top of the flagpole anymore. Anyways, that's fine. So that was a really cool train level, a bit of a challenging one, especially that one stamp, speaking of which. Oh, it's gonna be the, I don't know what they're called. They're like little flamingo guys. Or I guess more like an ostrich, I'm not sure. Well, there we go. It looks like we're done with the first sort of level of this, or this like this first like floor. We're elevating up to a second portion of it here. So I'm sure things are only gonna get more difficult. So over here we have World Bowser 4, World Bowser 5. So let's do World Bowser 4 first. Footlight Lane. This one looks really cool because like you can see the thwomp sl slamming down and make some kind of pathway. That'll be interesting. Ooh, relaxing. I really like the relaxing levels because they remind me of a, uh... oh, that's so interesting. They remind me of Mario Galaxy, which I'm so excited to play for you guys. We're gonna get through Mario Sunshine first, but Mario Galaxy is probably the most relaxing Mario game. Or at least up there with some of the, the maybe like some of the side games. Cause I know that like, Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo is like a very relaxing game as well. But like for a Mario platformer, obviously there are intense parts of it, but there are some really cool relaxing bits as well. I will play it at some point. I just need to get through Sunshine first and that's been taking me extra time to get around to. Her boomerang took a while. Ooh, the superstar. I wonder if that'll light up anything more. I mean, I guess if we follow the dry bones, we'll be fine. I don't think I want to run with this one. Ah, uh, not quite a one-up, but that's fine. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's so scary. I wish that uh, throwing the boomerang would help a little, but butt slamming seems to do enough. There we go. Even when you're not on it, you can slam, and it'll make a decent amount of uh, coverage. Hmm. Oh, I don't like it. It's scary for sure, but it looks like, yep, right over here, I almost slammed to my doom there. You really gotta be careful with that. Okay, uh, but I guess it's, it's safe to assume that if there's something rolling, then I can also walk on it. There we go. There's a green star, and then I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Cause we haven't gotten the stamp yet, have we? I don't think we have. There's another boomerang. I'll, I'll hold on to what I have. It's always good to have a variety, right? I know. Oh wow, they explode. That makes it much easier to see. Oh, over there. Huh, and there we go, right over this way. Oh my. And there we go, we got it. Ooh. So definitely exploding them is very, very useful. Oh my. Oh, the two for one. No! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. He just rolled off the side. Okay, trying to be extra careful this time. There we go. So this should be the last green star. So we just gotta make extra sure we got it. I need to, ooh. That's it, that's it. We got it. Not too big of a deal. Now let's be careful on our way back. Luckily now we don't have to worry about getting that green star anymore, but still getting out here was a challenge in itself. So I'd like to still try my best to not make any silly mistakes. That's it. All right. And looks like we have, oh boy, a bit of a tricky jump here to the final flagpole, but once again we get a, who needs a cat suit? <laughs> All right, very challenging, but very tough level. I feel like that's something you see a lot. The more relaxing levels often require a lot of like trying them over and over, which is sort of good that they're relaxing then. Now we get the bullet bill. I'm pretty sure we already got a bullet bill stamp, but I guess not. Weird. I have like a bit of deja vu there. There's 219 green stars and a little Sprixy house. Okay, so we'll definitely be able to get a stamp out of that one as well. And this has to be the last Sprixie because we've gotten all of the other ones, I believe. I guess we'll find out. The red one, right? Yep, there's the red one. Cause then, instead of taking a new Sprixie, Bowser took all of them back again. 
So I'm not sure if there if there is an next world and there is a Spixie house, what sample that have? Who knows? Anyways, over this way, what do we got going on? World Bowser 5, Deep Water Dungeon. I think I saw Plessy again. I don't know, sort of covering up now. Hey, he's at the top. Is this another Plessy level? I guess we're about to find out. Ooh, I like it. I just, I love the variety of ooh, levels in this game. It makes everything, even like tried and true Mario themes, like, you know, underground levels or cast levels, it makes them feel fresh again. Like they really did a good job with that part. Weird seeing just like random moving bits of water like that. Hmm, where exactly am I going right now? We got a stamp up this way. Hmm, just gonna be patient with it. There we go. Already finding secrets in this level though, that's a good start. Oh no, I wanted to go down there. So I'm guessing, yep, there's the cat suit for us. Who needs the cat suit? I do. <laughs> oh no, and there it goes. Darn. It's okay though. Get that a bunch. Oh no. I guess I shouldn't rely on wall jumping if I don't have to, but it's sort of satisfying to. Oh, and I already know. How do I, oh, I need the cat suit. That's gonna be a problem. Here's Plessy and everything, but, oh no. I don't know if there's too much of a way for me to get up there then. Oh, well, if I could do that again. <laughs> How did I do that? I'm not sure. I think I did, oh, interesting. So if I, Butt slam, but then press the, the run button. Ah, uh, I feel like I could. Maybe not with Toad, but with like maybe Luigi or something. Like if I just, wait. Ah, uh, it doesn't quite get me the air I need. And I don't think you can long jump into wall jump. I think you just dunk the wall. That's super tough. Almost. Okay, I guess I'll just have to leave that for later. That's sort of a shame, but at least I know what to do now. Sort of fun to experiment with the controls like that, though. But that's such a cool little move. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> poor Toad, I'm slamming him against walls here. Let's leave the poor guy be. I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on Plessy here. Let's go. Oh, this is so cool. How did Plessy get here? Is there more than one Plessy? I'm not sure, I think there's only one. He just gets around a bunch of places. Okay, I didn't get too much there. <laughs> I missed a bunch of rings, but that's all right. It was a pretty short section for him. It was nice seeing you, buddy. Especially so soon after I just, just was hanging out with you. Now we get the cat suit. Can I go back, please? Okay, well, I just have to be extra careful not to lose it this time, because now it's clear that, oh my, <laughs> that there could be things I need it for. Oh no, oh no. Oh, it's just, it's really hard to keep it. It's crazy underwater sections like this. Okay, this is moving over this way quickly. Ah, oh, not quick enough. Toad might be a quick runner. Oh, geez. He's not a quick swimmer. And then once again, we got something I might need a cat suit for. Nope, there we go. I'm getting really good with the controls then. That's cool. Okay. Uh, we're, we're really tiny toad right now. We'll make this work. Ooh, so I, it, it thinks I have the cat suit right now. <laughs> well, I don't, sorry. Oh wait, no, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. There we go. Wait, that was the third star? I missed two of them. Wow, I really didn't do good this level. That's okay, we'll figure it out. Run out of time, too. Spent too much time donking toad against that one wall. Okay, ready? Whoop. There it is. At least we got that figured out. I'll have to play the level again though, because really mess that one up. <laughs> tiny Toad is so cute. He's like a tiny little baby Toad. But there we go, we got the stamp. It's gonna be one of those little tadpole enemies. I like it. I'm guessing that that one green star had to be like on the plusy section or something. And what is that gonna lead to? I'd actually really like it if it was a mushroom hunt. Well, there we go, ask and you shall receive, I guess. Also, I did notice over this way. I wonder how I get over there. I might have to poke around a little bit more to find out. 
Anyways, we'll figure it out soon enough. Right now, I need some extra items. I'm gonna hope it's a small one. Small toad, small box. And it works out quite well. So we need, more than anything, we need the cat suit here. If I could do that, that'd be pretty cool. Always like having a, a leaf on reserve. Okay, let's hop back into that level and see what I can figure out. Okay, so I made it here. No problem, really. Ow, okay. And that's gonna be green star number one. So green star number two, I'm pretty sure it has to be in this plus E section. So let's really look out for it this time. I'm guessing with that big jump I sort of messed up, or something like that. It seems like there's anything peculiar. I'll try to go for it. Okay, that's time we got all three of them. But there's definitely not anything else here. Weird. But I mean, it could be like, aha, up here maybe? Oh, it's looking like I can hear the shimmer. Super easy. I probably could have seen this in the distance and everything too. Or something. Oh, I can even get up here. What's up here? Nothing. That's a weird little, little side piece. Okay then, so now I just have to <laughs> complete the level and everything should be good. All right, there we go, we got it all. Not too bad. Okay then, 222 green stars, so not a bad little uh, number there. So I wanna sort of go back for a second. I see that like area over there to the left, and it makes me, or to the right it was, uh, makes me a little bit worried that we might have missed something. Not seeing anything over here though. This is like any kind of maybe like little secret or something. Sometimes we'll see little markings on the floor that can indicate like wherever that green pipe might end up being. I'm not really sure, maybe we just gotta complete more levels. We'll find out as we go along. It could also very much be just like in the future, farther down the line. Let's see World Bowser 6, a beam in the dark. So this is gonna be another ghost level. Haven't seen these too often. This is what I'm saying, there's like so much variety in this game that like we've only seen three or four ghost levels. Oh, it's very fresh. Oh, I like this. It's like a little headlight. <laughs> Put the spotlight on him, they're too embarrassed. Billy is so cute that the boos are so often very shy. It's just like looking at him makes them all bashful and stuff. These guys too though. Usually looking at them isn't too big of a problem. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> oh darn, I tried. I tried to save myself there. Okay, I'm just gonna play it safe this time. There's no really, there's not really too much of a reason to run around with Toad. Should probably leave it. Oh, there's a Luigi button here. Okay, so I will have to replay through this level anyways as Luigi to get the stamp, presumably. Hmm. I think this is about to fall. Whoa, Big Boo! Get out of here, buddy. Even Big Boo is not immune to the embarrassment of being in the spotlight. Oh my, oh my. Whoa. Okay, we got a mirror. Sort of tell me where I need to go. Gotcha. Hey, can we do anything like Go into it. Mario 64 style, I guess not. Ah, uh, perfect angle to get rid of all of them. Oh, this is a mirror again, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> I got very confused. Boop, got it. Okay, this is sorta tough. But I think we got it. There it is, and we got ourselves another leaf. Awesome, so now I can spin on him. Ready? Oh, <laughs> just barely survived that one. Perfect. I don't see any other, ooh, green stars over here. Are they all chasing me still? I don't know what that was about. Okay, definitely doesn't seem like there's too much more to worry about over there. Hmm. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can keep moving. I like how you can just barely see Toad's little feet with all this. And his tail popping up. We still need two more green stars. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, there it is. Just barely saw that opportunity. Okay, gotta get rid of all the booze. Let's stand in a better angle, maybe like right in the corner. Perfect. Okay, just gotta get you. So if we're not close enough, they just sort of cover their eyes. But I guess after getting too close, they can't handle it even then. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, It's not that one. Not that one. I guess it's this one. There we go, so it has to be this door. We figured it out. Still looking for that third green star. Oh, this is not gonna be easy, is it? Will this be spinning? Oh, it's spinning all right. It's making my head spin. <laughs> okay. We're just saying like one angle and they'll sort of just like rotate the way you want them to. 
Now, I see those guys, but they're, oh, they're like behind the wall. Spooky. And there's the green star for us. The hard part here is definitely dealing with the dry bones. Okay, get him out of here. Who's gonna stand right on top of him, I guess. Now this is getting a bit crowded. Let's hit the pal block, maybe. I guess it didn't really do too much for me. Oh my gosh, there's too much. Oh no, I don't have the light. Oh no, now I'm in big trouble. That means it was like the first time I've gone hit this level. Well, since I died. Okay, you know what, I'm leaving. Uh, That almost worked. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take what I can get there. Phew, okay, let's grab one last sneaky leaf. And I'm just gonna try to, uh, I can't exactly, there it is, I was looking for the shadow. Very cool. All right then, good job, Toad. So I do have to replay this level as Luigi to get the one stamp. I'm gonna do that now. But so far, you know, that was pretty good besides all that. All right then, so that was, I think, the sixth level. Completed it pretty well. And that unlocks, ooh, the pipe. Okay, so that's what we were looking for the whole time. So we're in the clear. We're sort of covered with everything. So let me hop back into this level and play it as Luigi this time. So change Luigi. Luigi time. <laughs> All right, let's give it our best shot. So it should have been, and I like how we get to keep the, uh, the Tanooki leaf, of course. It's actually, it's something else for Luigi. It's not a Tanooki, it's a, uh, I forget what it is. I think it's supposed to be a fox, so. Can't quite remember. Almost there? Gotcha. Or at least like a very fox-like animal. Might not exactly be. Because a lot of people see the Tanuki and think raccoon. And it's actually not a raccoon. There we go. So now I just gotta recomplete the entire level over again. All right then, so there we go. We got that done. I gotta switch back over to Toad when I get the chance, but for right now, let's hop through this pipe. We're not doing so good. I got hit a lot in that level. I just wanted to sort of get it done. But we got World Bowser Mystery Box, Mystery House Claw Climb. All right, so let's switch back over to Toad real fast. I don't know how much time it gives you. Like, maybe it gives you all the time in the world, but it makes like this little noise that makes you think it's like timed. This might be a bit difficult if we don't even have any hits we can take. Okay, well, there's a cat seat, so. Actually, it's very generous. Guess it's a quick way to get double cat suit. I'll take it. That was nice. What's up here then? Hey, I'm curious. I'm gonna explore a little bit. That was cool. All right. I guess I'll plop back down this way into the next one, because we gotta get 10 stars in this one. It looks like it's sort of all about the cat suit. Let's well, Toad could be very useful for these mystery box levels, because he just moves so quickly. If you can take advantage of it. No! Wait, I'm stuck inside it. Whoa, that was weird. So I guess if we jump and are in the location of the box when it appears, you'll be stuck inside of it. Good to know, I suppose. And there we go. So far, these haven't been too bad, but they could get more difficult at any moment. Gotta be ready. Oh, it's this thing again. This time, the cat suit, though. I guess I gotta get to the tippity top event. Almost. Not a problem. Okay, this one I have to claw my way through. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. That's it. I love breaking these, it's super satisfying. <laughs> this is the way they sort of break up in those like little chunks. Oh no, oh no, ready, jump, got it. Already more than halfway through that, like we're storming through this one. What's weird is that like a lot of it is, okay, you just did this one, but now it's slightly different. Yeah, like we, this is the third one time we've technically done this one. There we get the power block really helps there. Just one more to go. Okay, this is new. Oh gosh, they fall off when you reach the top of them. That's intense. But there it is, there it is, last one. Look at all the flowers too. Awesome, so 10 more green stars to our collection. I love it. Okay then. So with that out of the way, I'm glad that wasn't like, like in some secret corner I missed. Not too bad. So, back over this way, we'll hop into the pipe. 
Where do we gotta go now? It looks like right over there, but now might be a good time to also explore a little bit. Is there anything I can do over here except for just grab a couple free coins? I guess not. All right then, so let's hop into the world of Bowser 7, Grump Lump Inferno. So this one's actually gonna be lava themed. What's a Grump Lump? I'm not quite sure. Are these guys Grump Lumps? Uh-oh, why is the block sad? Oh, okay, it's moving. It doesn't like it when you stand on it, so it starts to try to get you off. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, I can see this level being really tough. Look at these guys. I guess if we follow their, we just gotta follow their rhythm. I'd say copy cap, but it's more like copy mouse. Oh, he's happy again. So I guess that like once he reaches his destination. So it's not really about jumping. You actually sort of wanna walk. Like I'm not even going like full, full sprint on the analog stick here. Oh my gosh. You do have to be careful though, because even just slightly touching the lava, gonna be a one hit takedown. Okay, here's my chance to jump. And I guess I'll just like patiently wait here. I do have to be careful because the lava balls are coming for me. There we go. Oh my, one more, one more. Uh, glad I got one green star though. And uh, I don't know if that was really worth the risk there. Oh, we got a Tanooki leaf. Always the same. Nothing up there really. Oh, and we got a hammer bros now. Gotcha. And I guess that's everything around here so far. Just trying to be careful, trying to make sure I get everything. Nothing over that way. Whoa, it always looks like it's gonna start sliding. Okay, it is. All right. Oh my. Uh, uh, I landed on him, I landed on him. Got a watch toad shadow. Oh, we're doing all that. Ow, he got a really good shot on me. Honestly, I can't really be too mad with that one. Oh, we're sliding again. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, maybe these are crump lumps. Or maybe the block is a crump lump? Or that, was that what the enemies were called? I don't even remember anymore. Okay, so we're back to Cat Toad. Just gotta be careful with the lava. Ah, I sort of run right into, okay. Well, I got what I wanted out of it. That's all that matters, right? And there's another leaf for us. Very nice that it's giving us leaf power-ups. Whoa, watch it. I don't think I've run into any checkpoints so far this level. He's sad again. The shape to this one's a lot more difficult and it's moving a whole lot more quickly. Oh no, this is even worse. Oh, okay. Ooh, wait for me. So I'm trying really hard just to mimic them. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. They fell off, they couldn't even keep up with it. We get two more. Oh my goodness. We did get the green star there, so all we gotta do now is survive. Yeah, they just sort of fall off on it when it gets really high up like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's change the camera angle real fast. And then, long jump. Ah! <laughs> we did it! Oh man. Wow, what a tough level. Surprise that took us as few tries as it did. Was that one try or was that two try? I can't even remember. But still, we get the little mouse as the, uh, as the stamp there, happy to see that. Very adorable. And that was gonna be 238 green stars. Oh, we're going up onto the third and final platform here. Not really sure, are these both gonna be boss fights? That's intense. All right, well we certainly wanna give that a try. So which one's gonna be first? I'm guessing this will be A. Yep, and that one will be, of course, B. So let's try World Bowser A, Motley's Motley Boss Blob's Encore. Oh, so this is the guy that broke up into a bunch of smaller pieces when we fought him. Let's give it a try. <laughs> As Toad said, fight time. Is this gonna be a power for me? Oh, it's gonna be the double cherry. Let's make the most of that then. I just wanna see if there's anything else. The music's always so intense. There it is. Okay, let's get moving. Oh my. Hello? I guess I gotta move to the center. Here he is again. He really does look like a Koopaling mixed with like Kamek. I wish we saw this character more often. Make for like a fun, 
wild card Mario Kart character. Oh, he's golden now, too. Oh, like a Mario Party character, even. Okay, um, let's try to jump on him. Or just hit him with the tail, too, that works. Okay, that extra, that extra butt slam didn't do too much. Oh my, just gotta keep dodging him. Jeez, this is intense, though. Ooh, oh, I lost one, but I got one back. I think three is a good number. I think we'll be okay with this. Just gotta hit him one more time. I'm seeing all the pitter patters to Toad's footsteps, but this many of them. Oh no. Oh. We got it, we got it. It's easy. See ya, buddy. Not a problem. Silver, gold, it doesn't matter what color he is. We'll take him down. Got a bunch of coins for it, too. Very nice. So yeah, we could have gotten, I think, at the five toads? We had four, though. Not too bad. And that'll be some extra time. I don't think we quite needed that. Oh, no. Oh, don't mess this up for me. <laughs> That's the one risk here. You don't want the toads messing up the flagpole for you. That's it. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so that one basically as well as it could. We could have gotten hit like one last time. It's not a big deal. Okay, so what's gonna be next for us? What is the other boss fight gonna be? Probably that big rolly rock guy. We're about to see. Boom. World Bowser B, Histocrat returns. This might be even better. I think I like this guy even more than the, uh, oh man, even more than the rock guy. So that's pretty cool. Uh, not gonna give me any kind of power up this time, huh? No, there it is. I was looking for it. That's why it's good to be diligent, right? Okay, so this guy was not easy the first time. Can't imagine he's gonna be easy the second time. Oh, wow. Well, actually, I don't know. This isn't the same character, is it? It looks a little different. I like the, the makeup. <laughs> All right then, uh. Oh, there we go, no wait, okay. I thought that like another one popped up right next to her. I mean, maybe there's more than one histocrat? Maybe they got a makeover, who knows? Okay, just trying to be careful. Whoa. Okay, that's a problem, but honestly, don't really need it. So far, it's sort of kind of the same boss fight as before. The cat suit makes it majorly easy. Okay, calling in more of your snake friends. Now that one's chomping. We gotta be careful. So it's not really worth messing with all that. I don't like how the plates are breaking. There we go, there we go, and slam. All right, that actually, that felt like the same boss fight again, but it's like a slightly different color this time. Which I guess sort of kind of was how it was last time, wasn't it? I mean, I feel like, with the, the blob guy we just fought, he jumped around a little bit more often, but maybe not. Anyways, there we go. We got it. Honestly, yeah, we, we did dealt with both of those boss fights really, really well. So let's get back up here, get another golden flagpole. I guess that means, are we ready to fight the giant castle, fight Bowser again? Get all the, 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 the Sprixies back? I sure hope so. Guess we're about to find out. We've been doing a great job with Toad. It definitely took me some time to get used to his uh, controls again, but we're working with it. We're doing pretty good. All right then. See, so yeah, there's that out of the way. 240 green stars. What's that little door to the right, I wonder? Maybe I should check that out first. Because if we take a look at the map, I mean, it's not saying that there's anything more, so what is this all about? Is this like a shortcut to a different world? Oh, wow, okay. Well, actually, I don't need this yet. Maybe I could leave it for later. I don't need items right now. Good to know that's there, though. But whenever I do need it, and I did notice there's a one-up up here. Don't quite know how to get up there, though. Maybe that may be like later, after I defeat this thing. 170 green stars. We're well in the clear. We have actually 70 more than that. 
<laughs> okay, I'm a little scared here, but it's World Bowser Castle, the Great Tower of Bowserland. It really is opening up a whole amusement park. Pretty cool, where can I get tickets? It's about time. It's about time. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you as excited as we are. Wow. Whoa, he's got a skyscraper. Ooh. All right, Toad. Oh, here's his broken car. Gotta bring it to the mechanics. These volcanoes and everything. So like, it's still like in the typical kingdom that Bowser usually lives in, but he's just sort of tricked it out with a bunch of shiny lights and carnival stuff. That's cool. It's raining lava balls. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't like this weather forecast right now. Hmm. I already hear you have the shimmer of a green star. Let's plop down there. So far already, looking like it's gonna be an intense level. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, we got some little cat Koombas. Haven't seen too many of those, to be honest. There we go. So I guess we don't have the Tanooki Leaf anymore. Who knows, though? It might be better just to have two cat suits. I wanna get all these guys off. I have a feeling that this will give me a green star. I guess I can leave that there. Let's find out. Oh wait, did he land on the other platform? With the other guy? Yeah, he did. Actually, might make it more difficult. Come on, come on, ready? See ya. Let's see if that gets me anything. Oh, yes it does. I had like this gut feeling. All right, well, let's grab, oh no. This roll fast, and that's green star number two. Honestly, a pretty quick second green star. Maybe this level isn't very long. Hmm. Let's get over here real fast. Oh, look, it's Captain Toad, hey buddy. You're just gonna wave me hello. Usually he gives me something, but maybe he'll give me like a power up if I didn't already have plenty. Wow, look at this place. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're just supposed to start climbing. The music's gone away, I'm a little nervous. Oh my gosh. Whoa, here he is! What's up, Bowser? He's not happy. Wait a minute, is he gonna use the power up? Oh my gosh! He never really uses the power up, does he? Whoa! Cat Bowser! Oh my goodness! Oh, you scary, that's one mean kitty. Okay, are we running, are we climbing? I guess we're chasing them still. All right, let's go for it. Oh my, so it's it's a, it's a cat versus cat right now. What is he doing? Oh my gosh, okay, he's a bit of a climber. Oh no, oh no. Here we are. <laughs> I'm maybe moving a little too fast for the camera. Can't really see where I'm going now. Where did he go? Oh no, there he is. Whoa. Oh no, no wait. There we go, so once again, might have activated that too soon. I gotta be careful here. There it is, and grab it quick, grab it quick. There we go, so we're just looking for the stamp now. I hope I haven't missed that. I guess we'll have to, whoa, wait and see, that's a problem. Um, I can't see where I am right now. I'm down this way. Okay, we should be fine. Just gotta keep going. Um, get an extra power up out of this one, please and thank you. No, stop doing that. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta get my bearings straight here. This is this is not good. Oh my goodness. Whoa, hold on now. Get out of here, Bowser. Wow, that hit him pretty good. That can't be it. Maybe it is. This cat was ironically all bark and no bite. That can't be, okay, yeah, he's mad. He's furious. <laughs> Whoa. We're not even really doing much right now. The pipe's doing all the work. Oh gosh. Wow. Whoa, wait, did he have a double cherry? Oh my gosh. He's using all the power-ups against us. This is only halfway. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, I don't have any cat suits right now. Hopefully, maybe you'll give me one. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. That's useful. Let's keep it moving. Oh no, oh no. He's slamming through. Oh, that was a bad idea. 
There's too many of them. No, that was awful timing. Oh, that took us out too. Yikes. So it might be worth it to wait here then? I guess so. Luckily they pop back up pretty quick. Right over this way we got ourselves another one. Oh my. So there's like a couple of invisible ones too. Whoa. Luckily that one was there. Oh no, oh no. Oh, he stuck his t tail through that one. Oh boy. We're still climbing. Come on, Toad, you can do it. Feels so weird fighting Bowser, the final boss fight without Mario. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Jeez, they're all over the place. How many Bowsers are there? There's at least like four of them running around right now. Oh gosh. Trish trying to get up here. We can do, oh, that's a big pal block. Hit him quick, quick, quick. Whoa, wait, ow. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, we gotta catch them. We don't want them falling. See ya, Bowser. Easy. See ya, buddy. Doesn't matter how many Bowsers there are. We gotta defeat him, we'll do what we gotta do. <laughs> he explodes into a firework. Oh my gosh, I hope he's okay. Oh, okay, this Prixies are fine. They can still sort of float in the jar somehow. And they were able to break free the whole time, apparently. <laughs> okay, then. Was that all an act? Well, there we go. I guess we did it. It's very peaceful now. Jeez, how much higher can we go? Whoa, oh, and there's the stamp. This whole time I was worried about missing it. It's right here the whole time. So there we go, we got the whole level complete. And here's all seven Sprixies. Hi! Got the whole rainbow. So I guess everything's safe and back to normal now. All right, ready? Whoop, there we go, we even get the golden flagpole. Awesome. Good job, Toad. Able to defeat Bowser and save the day. Okay, so all seven Sprixies are finally back together and saved, safe and sound, out of the tyranny of evil Cat Bowser. <laughs> Course clear, that's awesome. What a final boss too, very intense is running away from Bowser like that. Oh, and I guess it's the credits. Right, seems like it. Uh. Oh, I guess we're all heading back home. Yeah, back to the Mushroom Kingdom. With all the Sprixies saved, I guess our job was done. Hi, oh, they're waving us back. See, there we go, there's the credits. Wow, that's crazy. See, I guess it still was like a normal, a normal Mario game where it has like eight worlds to get through. What a fun adventure this has been so far. We definitely didn't get all the stamps, so I'm pretty sure there's still more levels after this. I'm sure we'll find out in a moment. But wow, this was super duper fun to play through already. I can't wait to see if there is more. We'll definitely play it. But so far I've gotten all eight worlds done 100%. We've got all the green stars and all the stamps. I'm pretty sure if there is anything we did miss, we'll go back and get it, no problem. But uh, yeah, I've had so much fun with this game so far. It's been really cool finally getting to experience it with you guys. Ever since like, you know, it's been one of my most requested games ever to play. And you guys have been super supportive of this series. You know, it's, we haven't done too many series so far this new year, but it's by far the most popular one we've done in a long time. So that's really cool. I really appreciate it. It's just always fun to like go on these adventures with you guys and plenty more of that kind of stuff coming up. Yeah, this game has been heavily requested basically since it came out in like 2013. So it's been like seven, eight years in the making. I'm just glad I finally had the chance. And Bowser's in the jar. How's it feel, buddy? You got a little bit of your own treatment there. Oh, look at Boom Boom and Pom Pom just hanging out. He seems a little down. I'm glad the Pom Pom's able to console him a bit. Oh, look, there's Captain Toad and all of his friends. And of course, if you didn't know, there was sort of like a sequel to this game, uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, that also has already released on the Switch. We played through that 100%. But yeah, I'm just so glad to finally play this game for you guys. And as per usual, I'm always trying to listen to your guys' requests and play games you wanna see. And I'm still trying to get back to, into some old series. I sort of got busy towards the end of this year or last year. I bought a house, I've been moving. It's been pretty crazy, but we're getting there. It's been a wonderful new year thanks to you guys. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. 
I guess we're back in the Mushroom Kingdom. It'd be cool if there was like a bonus world. What is that in the sky? Whoa. I'm not sure what that is. Best times for completing courses will now be displayed. Oh, cool. But yeah, I was gonna say, oh, there's a Cat Bowser stamp, I love it. But yeah, I was just gonna say, we're, we're doing plenty more episodes soon of this and of course of Bowser's Fury, which is like the bonus game to this. And also I'm getting back to a lot of old series super soon, I promise. <laughs> okay, so let's see what our next thing will be. Whoa. So what are the Sprixies gonna do? It'd be cool if there was like a bonus world in the Mushroom Kingdom now. Huh. Very odd. I guess we'll have to wait and see. They have something waiting for us. And we're back to the main menu. What is the Luigi button on the bottom left? You wanna play Luigi Bros, the Luigi version of classic Mario Bros arcade game. Maybe we'll save that for a bonus episode. Very, very interesting. So there we go. I just wanna check to see and make extra sure. Was that everything in the eighth world? Huh. Well, we just wanna make extra sure. Oh, and I don't, know, I don't know what's going on over there. We'll figure that out in the next episode. All I wanna see is that for the eighth world, World Bowser. Did we get everything we wanted? Cause so far it looks like, you know, everything's in the clear. Yeah, looks like it. All right, awesome, that was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys had as much fun as I did. Stay tuned for the next episode. I don't know what's going on with the Sprixies here, but we'll find out in the next episode of Super Mario 3D World. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.